In this video, let's take a look at the paper component, which is a surface related component in Material UI. The paper component itself does not have much for us to learn about, but it is a great component to use when creating layouts and provides a visual hierarchy, which is very important in material design. Let's understand its usage with an example. We're going to continue with the MUI layout component. At the moment, we have a React fragment in the JSX. Assume this is some content on your page, like a sign-up section or a contact form. A common UI design is to put that content in a card with some elevation and shadow. Well, that can be done with the paper component. So import paper and use that instead of the React fragment. Let's add some padding for the component. So SX, padding, 32 pixels. Paper also adds a white background. So to distinguish this from the HTML background, in app.css, I'm going to add a color to the body element. So body, background color, is going to be different from white. If you now take a look at the browser, you can clearly see the paper surface. It has a slightly rounded border, a white background, and an elevation represented by the shadow at the bottom. There's also padding, which we have explicitly specified. Now you can control the shadow using the elevation prop. By default, the value is one. Let's set elevation to four. Take a look at the browser and you can see there is more shadow than before. More the shadow, more the depth hierarchy. So based on your app design, you can use the paper component to establish sections of UI and also visual hierarchy. Although this is pretty much about the paper component, it is the component that is used under the hood to build the card component in Material UI. Let's take a look at that in the next video.